Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, today I'm here with a review with the Exxon 7 Mini. And um, I must say, I got this phone for my girlfriend about two days ago, and it's a pretty good phone. Uh, it is considered a mid-range, but I really don't see it as a mid-range. I mean, it has a 16 megapixel camera, and it looks like it has two-tone flash there, if you can see. That's a fingerprint sensor, which is actually pretty good. Um, surprisingly good. And the screen is super AMOLED, full HD. Up there you have an 8 megapixel uh, camera. And it has a 1.5 quad core processor, which is uh, considered specs. 1.5 uh, quad core processor and uh, 3 gigs of RAM, which is considered specs for a high end device. So that's why I don't understand why they call it mid range. But, anyways, um, let's get on with stuff. So, the camera interface here is pretty simple, which. Uh, I think most people would like, and as you can see, this is um, the front facing camera. I'm just gonna cover my face because I don't like people seeing my face in videos. So let's switch to the back. So as you can see, it is very clear. Um, the stabilization is digital, so it, I guess that's personal preference. Some people prefer the optical image stabilization. I don't see no issues with it though. It's very really snappy. Um, I haven't noticed no lag whatsoever. The only thing I'm waiting for is for Android Nougat to get to this because um, it's still running on Marshmallow. But as you can see, the screen is very responsive. Um, one of the things that I wanted to get out the way in this video is a lot of people um, have been having issues with the NFC. Uh, me personally, when I got the phone for my girlfriend, I couldn't find the NFC either. So I read an article on... Um, some developer page, I can't remember the name right now. And some people were saying that the trigger point was around this area right here. So I went over to Dunkin' Donuts and tried it out and boom, it worked. Which is uh, kind of strange. I don't know why they would choose to put it over here. Mine is on the, I have a Samsung uh, S7 Edge and it's on the back, but I guess to each his own. Every phone company does it different. But uh, yeah, to so those that's trying to figure it out, where's the NFC, it's around here somewhere. And that will uh, work if you're trying to transfer files or do payments or whatever you're trying to do. So, uh, obviously, I'm not going to do an opening box review because there's no box you can see. But um, inside the box, it comes with your 1.5. Uh, they call it a fast charger, but it's not really a fast charger because usually fast chargers are like 2.0 and up. Um, but it is U uh, USB Type-C which is uh, falls under the category of fast charging. But this phone is compatible with the 2.0 charger, which would charge it faster. And uh, I guess that's pretty, m oh wait, no, 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 there's more. Uh, one of the good things about this phone is that it comes factory unlocked and you can use it for any um, GSN company. Uh, right now my girl's using Metro PCS, which is in partner with T-Mobile. So she gets the HD voice and um, voice of over LTE, so it means uh, she can use her LTE internet while she's on the phone. So overall, it's a pretty good phone uh, for the price. It's, it, you can get it in Best Buy for about uh, $300 on sale for around $250. And uh, this has been my review about the uh, ZT Axon 7 Mini. You can like, comment, and subscribe, or ask me some questions if you want.